My name is uh, Prince Tomiko. I'm the first cousin of uh, King Siamuni and uh, a nephew of uh, King Father Norodom Sianu. The building which is just behind me is the building where um, King Sianuk was kept under house arrest by the Khmer Rouge and, and uh, especially by Pol Pot uh, from 1975 up until 1979. According to King Sianuk himself, the uh, living conditions were uh, outstanding compared to the, uh, the living conditions and uh, to whatever other members of the royal family had to endure. He lost uh, four or five sons and daughters, as well as 14 grandchildren during the, the Khmer Rouge. Uh, the royal family was treated just like everyday citizen, you know, by the, by the Khmer Rouge. My father was um, the Cambodian ambassador to uh, East Germany at that time. He was called back by the Khmer Rouge uh, regime after they won in 1975 supposedly to uh, uh, have re-education. So he was sent to um, a camp, uh, which is uh, Bang Trabai. I'm the, the last person who saw my, uh, my father and, uh, and my mother as well. And uh, up to now, their fate is unknown to me. And it means that I don't know under which condition they died, whether they've been tortured, executed, we don't have any hope, you know, to have any answers to those questions. What happened during the Khmer Rouge is not only a matter of having members of family um, assassinated, murdered, <coughs> executed, but also Cambodia was murdered somehow. Cambodian people are very skeptical about the outcome of the Khmer Rouge trial. First of all, too late. Second, too few, and third, too political. I don't believe that we can explain the drama that took place in Cambodia between 1975 and 1979 just by indicting four or five uh, pe people. In the place of a trial, what I would have preferred is that the international community had a kind of fun, you know, Khmer Rouge fund or whatever and just tell Cambodian people, as well as the rest of the world, what happened, how it happened. It would give justice to the, the, the family of the people who were the victims of the Khmer Rouge, because somehow they recognized their pain, their sufferings.